What's going on y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Dauntless Outdoors. Today's episode, we're diving out of Venice, Florida. The goal of today's episode was to shoot some nice cobia and some nice mangrove snapper. And um, we're doing it. We got a bunch of nice mangroves and a bunch of nice, well not a bunch, but a couple nice cobia. And it's 12 o'clock, 12.30. So I'm gonna get this guy in the cooler and hop back in the water. Make sure you stick around. We're gonna get some nice fish and catch you guys back in the water. What's going on y'all? This is the first spot of the day. Hopped in the water, did a couple drops, nothing deep. And then I decided I was gonna drop down, go basically to the bottom here. And as I'm getting down towards the bottom, I look over and spot a couple pretty nice mangrove snapper. A little bit too far for me to take a shot. So slowly I close the gap over here, start to swim towards them a little bit. And this one gives me a pretty good shot right there. So I was about to take it, and then I saw the one off the left. It looked a little bit bigger, and then I went to take the, the, the shot there, but I have uh, different bands on the gun, so it didn't pull the trigger because it uh, overpowered the trigger. Which isn't really what you're looking for, but ended up landing a holding shot on another one. And landed a pretty nice micro. So we swapped spots, did one dive, and then Dylan shot a giant cobia. And I got a backup shot in there. It's not the greatest backup shot, but it uh, definitely would hold. So, as you can tell, giant cobia. I think he ended up being about 45 pounds, maybe 50 pounds. Definitely really nice. Dylan's going for another shot just to be sure that he's uh, not going to lose that fish. So, <laughs> awesome way to start the day. So now we swap spots again. That other spot that had the cobia really didn't have anything going on. He just uh, saw the cobia out in the sand, and that's all there was. So I'm dropping down towards the bottom here on this other number. It's about 85 foot, maybe 90 foot. The bottom spot this pretty decent man. He gets spooked when I aim up on him. So just keep looking around, hoping to find something a little bit bigger. And I think this might be the same mangrove that came back. So I decided I was going to take the shot here. Pretty far shot, but with those new bands, I got a lot of power. It's just it's really hard to pull the trigger. So. <coughs> got a good holding shot. Kept the, kept the reel pretty tight on this one because I saw a couple of But landed another pretty nice mangrove. So now I'm headed down. Justin had uh, just shot a pretty decent cobia is what he said and he needed somebody to go free it up and give it a backup shot so I'm headed down and I'm looking around not seeing the cobia anywhere not all the way down there yet but typically if you got a bigger fish like that you'd be able to see it by now and uh, I didn't see it but I saw another one right here in the sand lining up I have to take the shot and I shut the GoPro off because I thought it wasn't recording but clearly was got a backup sh or a, a shot in this cobia it's a little bit longer than I wanted to shoot at him but it was a holding shot so can't complain and if you couldn't tell I was doing my best to pull that fish out of the structure make sure it didn't get wrapped up like Justin's did he was on there but there was another one <laughs> yeah I think this is one of my first cobia of the year. It's a pretty, pretty decent one. I think it's about 25 pounds or so. So, not too bad. And since this is just a recreational trip, I'm allowed to shoot permit. I can shoot a ton of stuff that you really can't shoot on commercial. And Justin told me he'd like a permit. 
because he had something going on, so he had to hop on the boat. So I was seeing a ton of them, and I said, don't mind if I do. So a pretty decent one. Didn't want a giant, is what he said, so took the shot on that one there and pulled on him as hard as I could just to make sure he didn't get eaten by sharks, which happens very often to permit. <laughs> So now I'm headed back down. This is the same spot where I just shot that permit. And I was hoping to see something pretty cool on the bottom here. I was told that there has been some big black grouper and stuff like that spotted at this spot. And as soon as I get down here, I sit on top of this little post. And I'm seeing a ton of cobia right there, but I don't know if I'm a really big. And I think you're only allowed two per boat. So... We already had our limit there, so I wasn't definitely wasn't going to take the shot on those guys. But it's pretty cool just to look at them. And uh, you can't see it in the video, but as soon as I go to head up here, I spotted a either a Kubera or Black head out from that structure there. He was probably about 20 pounds, but unfortunately, couldn't get a shot on him. Did a bunch of things. What's going on, y'all? We just got back in. We got... Two cobia, one is probably, I don't know, 50 pounds, 45, 50 pounds, something like that. Dylan shot it, like savage. And then I shot one cobia, he's probably, I don't know, 20, 25 pounds. And then we got a ton of mangroves and a permit. So, had a pretty good day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. I tricked ya. That wasn't the end of the video. That was just the end of that day. I had filmed an intro and an outro for that day, so I decided I'd put them both in. But now I'm on a commercial trip here with Mirko and Matt. And I'm going down. The bottom's about 105 here, I think. I'm at like 100 foot right there. Saw a mutton that I definitely wasn't going to pass on. Took the shot and stoned him, as you can tell. And headed on up to the surface. Pretty good way to start out the day there. Alrighty, so I'm headed back down to the bottom. Looking around, Matt and Mirko had both said they would saw some nice Kubera. So, I decided I was going to go all the way down here. Post up on the bottom, a little bit out from the wreck, and hopefully have some of the bigger Kubera swim out towards me. Just so I didn't get them tangled up in the wreck. But, this is 105, 108 foot, something like that. And I sat down here for a pretty long time. I think this this dive was like minute 55. Nothing crazy long, but <coughs> shot that Kubera there. Had a good holding shot, but unfortunately, as you can tell, there's a ton of Goliath grouper. And I gave him a little bit too much line there, and he got eaten. So it was pretty sad. So now I'm at the last spot of the day, and I'm using a different gun now because my shaft got taken by a goliath, and now I'm headed down to the bottom, it's about 85, 90 foot, something like that, and I see a bunch of groupers sitting right here. I can't shoot gags right now, but I can shoot blacks, and that one right there that's headed out to the right is a big black grouper. I'd say he's about 25 pounds or so. Go to line up on him, and unfortunately, I don't think you could really see it there, but that shaft bent a little bit to the left, and I shot a little bit too low. Kind of sucks, but not the end of the world. Definitely going to get a bigger one here shortly. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Probably 25, 28 pound black.